One local Red Cross worker just returned from a 10 day stint on the East Coast. Yeah, it took a lot of pictures while she was there, but she says the pictures really don't show how bad the damage is in a lot of places. Fox 11's Chad Doran has more on her trip back from the front lines. While many of us continue on with our daily routines, for those on the East Coast, life is at a standstill. You know, they're very much in a recovery mode. Um, it, to some, it may be a matter of survival. Neighborhoods have disappeared. Barbara Beeling says just finding her way through areas affected by Superstorm Sandy was a challenge. You literally had to say there's a sh boat sitting on top of a greenhouse, drive past that, what you guess is about three blocks, and then take a left. Beeling wrote out the storm on the fifth floor of a Washington, D.C. hotel. An experience she says was like no other. Sounded like a combination of a 747 and a B-52 bomber flying overhead. It was just, oh, yeah, the noise was amazing. As of Thursday, more than a half million people were still without power. Almost 6,000 Red Cross workers and volunteers from around the country are serving meals and providing supplies and shelters. Beeling says more than 100 of the volunteers are from the eastern half of Wisconsin. Barbara says she expects Red Cross relief efforts to continue through at least December. And she says the trip she just came back from probably won't be her last. Whereas I'm already back, chances are I could be heading back for another two or three week deployment. I mean, that's how many needs there are. She says it will take a long time for lives and life in the wake of Sandy to return to normal. But she says they've already seen good signs from above. And on the third day, we saw sunlight, we saw blue skies. It was like, wow, you know, okay, things are going to get better. In Oshkosh, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News. Beeling says the Red Cross still believes the best way to help those affected by the storms is to donate money and blood.